Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we're doing yet another epic universe update for the end of May. Lots of progress has been happening around each of the five lands, and I'm very excited to show you all the progress right now. All thanks to BioReconstruct for the impressive photos. Starting off in Celestial Park, you can see the Atlantic restaurants wrapping up. It even has some protective covering over the glass because it's nearing its completion. The two new restaurants that will be that has started construction, the building has now gone vertical, and they're even working on the flooring for the seating area and where you'll be eating and ordering and picking up your meals as well. Over at the barbecue restaurant, uh, it is again nearly complete. There's some leftover sheathing for the facade work to go on that main archway, but the rest of the building is pretty uh, pretty complete except for again the top of the circular structure it has some steel and just needs some facade work going. Over at the Blue Dragon restaurant, that is almost done too. See some detail work starting to pop in there and scaffolding is up but you even see some of the detail work on the outside but will be the grand entrance to the restaurant is coming along quite nicely too the rock work looks rock work looks absolutely fantastic of the cascading waterfalls that lead to the big water show at the back of the park and over at the constellation carousel not too much progress from last time but more uh gold painting a uh, gold paint has been covered on those steel arches there and there's the cube section that will eventually be covered in a gold paint as well then still in its primer white lastly in celestial park there's another look at those cascading water waterfalls on the other side of the atlantic restaurant and some greenery going in as well some grass patches as well as shrubbery shrubbery and trees um and even some bridges which will look really really cool and um, this area will have plenty of trees and benches to sit on just enjoy the very nice park view over at the dark universe you have the beautiful bridge here um entering to the monsters unchained or uh, the monsters chain unchained the frankenstein experiment attraction these attractions have such long names but the bridge is almost done the moat is full of water or dirt but they'll eventually be full of water you see a nice crane there uh doing some finishing touches in the dirt and on the entrance marquee and the ground i'm sure it's all themed but it's covered up so the construction vehicles can easily walk on it or drive on it <laughs> and yet the grand entrance to the attraction you can see the um kind of metal gate there that castle type gate has been installed um looking pretty cool and even some details some yellow details uh looks like yellow outlines to the windows now if that's the final color through that scaffolding there which is pretty cool and even some, even some green some greenery um on the rock work there so details are finally starting to come in to the show building looks absolutely fantastic i can't wait to see what it looks like till it gets done and hopefully this is the next announcement we'll be getting which i think it is next month which would be great over in darkmore new uh trademark has been found for one of the retail shops here at Dark darkmore monster makeup they just had a monster makeup kind of test run over at universal studios florida looks like it's having a permanent location here in the darkmore village and the darkmore Vi village facades themselves look done the pavement again is all covered up so the construction vehicles can drive over it but they just gotta work work on the fountain and then it'll be pretty much complete which would be quite nice here's another view of the dark moor area um kind of a, a couple of archways there and more from the to the fountain and i love this little village it's very nice gothic old style european village very nice to walk thank you the extended queue has been poured and you can even see some outlines some orange outlines for the queue structure where the stanchions and line will be placed along this exterior queue hopefully the trees well trees will eventually grow in but i wonder if there'll be even more shade spots because again it can get pretty hot in orlando and that is a lot of queue space to be standing outside so I'm curious i'm sure they'll have fans installed like they do for potter but it'll be really nice when those trees grow in out after a couple of years of that heavy florida rain and just an overview of the entire area of the dark almost the entire area of the dark universe lots of scaffolding on the front of the manor but the rest of it is just about complete which is nice of the race towards completion of this uh theme very exciting developments at the entrance to the uh, entrance to the park where the chronos is starting to be developed you can see the chronos is being installed it's not full complete but it is over halfway complete on top of the entrance portal there i wonder if they'll put the medallions inside them like uh the media people they got um the chronos with and they get little medallions for each world um hopefully when they put them in that'd be so cool if they can do that if they'll do that here at the entrance to this attraction then you have the guest services and ticketing and other related buildings um wrapping up 
uh, truly needs to use up really just need some paint and then they'll be just about finished there and here's a really cool uh, pavement scheme and one of those uh, small circles that we kind of see out in front of each land each attraction in celestial park looks like there's a bigger one here leading into all the ticketing service areas here's a close look at that chronos looks great doesn't it wow it's super super cool and uh if it's anything like that concept art it'll look very very amazing when it's fully painted and ready to go speaking of chronoses uh, and great concept art let's go to the grand helios hotel to see how the back of the park the grand helios hotel is looking absolutely fantastic as it wraps up putting in now in the smaller details all three domes are installed they're just waiting on to remove the sheathing on the main one for that make it that same orange color the top of the ballroom is getting some sheathing as well need some roof work but look at the beautiful windows there that was incredible incredible in fact you have the kind of helios structure uh, that sun uh, logo there placed on the top looks really really good here's a close look at the ballroom area with the one of the smaller domes and the sun structure uh, this is hotel hotel will certainly be quite the luxury hotel but i wouldn't be surprised if it has like stays starting at like seven eight hundred dollars per night because this looks gorgeous and in the front of the hotel and you can see those cascading waterfalls that lead towards the massive show area to the left out of frame is the blue dragon and lots of trees are starting to install this to be a lush landscape and a waterfall and a, even a bridge until you get to the main section of that hotel there where you can enter into the lobby one last look at the side of the hotel you can see the park facing side is all painted and complete the guess the uh parking structure facing side and the pool where the pool is a uh, pool looks like it's still dirt but the sheathing is still on on the drywall still on on the left side but it'll look basically identical to the right side and that should be done probably in the next update here's some guys working on the dome and on the left side with the, again the other domes completed of the hotel and here's just an overview of the entire hotel look how gorgeous that looks i'm sure this will be sold out certainly every day for the first few weeks or even months of this park screen Flying over to the Isle of Burke, let's look at the boat attraction, the fire drill attraction. All the boats are lined up in the path leading to the maintenance bay. The bridge is done. It looks like some shade, or po uh, sports for shade structures are installed. It's probably going to be Q. But nothing is on them yet. On the ride itself, again, the main path has been finished. Still waiting on some of those 2D structures. They'll probably be installed a little bit later towards the end, towards the ride's grand opening. But testing is most important and that's what they've been doing recently there's a new little viking ship that has appeared in the main bay in the main boardwalk area uh, when you enter the land looks pretty great and then here's spitfire grill so when you get painted but you can see the artwork in there that has been probably handcrafted uh, about this beautiful looking land it's a viking inspired architecture it looks absolutely fantastic Speaking of something that's more completed, look at this. This is the second launch of the Wing Gliders coaster. And you can see there's a dragon with an egg there. Look at that, a purple egg. As this plays to that second show scene as you go on to uh, AC Fly, fly Through the Isle of Burke on this Wing Glider roller coaster. And behind that is the play area that is still under construction, the Viking Training Camp. At that, turn around, the pickup swing gliders. You have lots more greenery and and the sheets have been unveiled look how cute those guys are has been swinging around them and of course you have the dragon sheep standing on its little rock pedestal it's a better look at the the uh dragon racers rally and its grandstands there's lots of dragon houses and lots of dragons in those houses as the coaster will swoop underneath them and the dragons will cheer you on as you race in on the flat ride the gerslauer two gerslauer flat rides right over there it's a close look at some of those dragon houses not at the racers rally but in the village area where this will be on top of that main retail location and i'm sure there'll be some dragon animatronics in those houses as well as we get towards complete here's a, another photo of the fire drill attraction with the boats inside the load station this time load station looks nearly complete or just about complete again just waiting on that extended queue the actual queue line plus a lot of those 2d structures although it looks like they have maybe installed but they're just facing the wrong way it looks like because they're just flat so it looks like they're installed in the opposite direction we'll have to see but also i don't know it's hard to tell it looks like some may be installed some may not be installed they could just be colorful supports but nevertheless we plenty of things to shoot at from your boat which will look pretty pretty cool let's go on over to super nintendo world
not too much has changed in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, the elevator to go from the first level to the second level, or second to the first level, has been mostly completed, and she needs some theming. The Yoshi vehicles are wrapped in plastic, and Bowser's castle is looking great, just wait, looking, waiting for some top turrets, and that's pretty much it. Let's get a close look at that Yoshi's Adventure attraction. Again, all the Yoshis are covered up in that black tarp, but they're, again, they're all in colors. Some new animatronics have been placed and wrapped in plastic at the arrows, and even some mountain work has popped up on the back side of the attraction as well. Looking at the upper level here, I'm not, um, this might be the underground tunnel or the ice level that we have here in Hollywood. By the way, you can see a prawn plant wrapped in black, but there is the entrance and exit to that ex uh, experience, and that area is entirely themed with question blocks and plants. Let's take a look at the Super Nintendo World store, the exit, and the entrance to the attraction, or the land. There are the escalator entrances. That whole area is all done, even complete with its portal ring. It just needs the pipes, the warp pipes. There'll be the colorful warp pipes on top, but right now it's all gray. That'll probably come later on. The Super Nintendo World store looks absolutely fantastic and almost complete. And just uh, the stuff that needs to be complete are the planters and walkways. That's all dirt. But you can see from this photo where you'll be exiting the land. Looks like on level one, and then you can enter. You can go back around and enter on level two. And there's nice the fountains even in place for the Super Nintendo World store, which is pretty cool. Let's take one last look at the Super Nintendo World Mushroom Kingdom area, all under construction. You can see the um the uh, yeah, the Koopa that one of the one of those mini games. But the, I forgot the name. Koopa Crank Challenge has got its colors it's now on. Um, green and ready to roll and the whole area looks great should see more color as the weeks pass on moving over to donkey kong you can see some of the flooring has been installed on the side closest to the uh, main attraction you have uh, that temple theming and gold theming floor a lot of the toaster track has been uh continued to get paint work and ready to go and some theming elements have occurred on the track including spikes which we'll get to in a second Here's that water area. You can see the waterfall has been painted gold. And that water area is ready to go, ready to get filled with water. That's one of those obstacles there. You can see the emerging exit stairs on the left-hand side from one of the mid-course break runs. It's a coaster just in case it has uh, needs to stop. Look at this. Look at those spikes. The spikes have been installed. Super cool. This is like the main element they use in the marketing here for the introduction and these spikes will be chopping over these spikes and even some of them are painted which is really awesome i cannot wait to see this in action later in japan maybe in july we'll have to see for that and here is the transfer track for the donkey kong looks super cool no car but look how small it is because again the car is small and you'll be transferring that when they you know exchange vehicles they'll be using this transfer track to unload and load one that's again the barrel and the gold painting for the temple looks nice and fresh too. And even some of the walkways that are yet to be painted gold, but it will be painted gold is probably from the exit to the attraction and into the associated mini games and mini land. Over at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, look at this. We have uh, more detail work on the facades, lots of entry and exit ways, more windows being installed, and more on these as these impressive facades continue to get more and more detail work. Here is the Entrance to the show is to be themed as a circus tent and looks like a hidden Mickey. Funny, funnily enough, that continues construction and there's even some more detail work on those facades to the right of that structure as well. Work continues on the extended queue for the Harry or the main Harry Potter attraction and it looks like it'll be indoor, which is great because you know don't want to ruin the uh, illusion. But it looks like you'll be going outside but you won't even know you're outside which is really awesome here's a whole overview of the whole land of the wizarding world of harry potter uh paris and look at that lots of trees on the four court before the arch and looks uh absolutely stunning and that was it for this week's epic universe update what is your favorite land are you excited for the progress the epic universe previous universe previous center by the way opens june 11th so if you're in orlando just about 10 days from the 10 or 11 days from the time of this video opens, posts, you'll be able to go and visit the Beginner's Preview Center, which will show that model that they've had. Um, they showed in the video, which was super cool. Let me go. What you let me know what you guys think about this in the universe, uh, in the comments below. 
subscribe to the channel if you want to contribute and support the channel you can check out my patreon down below or press that super thanks button and you know give a nice little thanks other than that subscribe check out all my socials down below and have an big day